Hi, my name is Oskar Lehtenary and today I'm taking you on a street photography POV walk in Kampi, Helsinki. All right, so let me take you on a small walk around city center Helsinki. I have the idea to take a picture of that house, the Auto Tower. And uh, yeah. I'm using the, um, the Ricoh GR3X, my go-to street photography camera when I'm not using my larger Canon R5. Today I don't, I don't think I have a goal for what I'm doing. It's more like a test run. Test run for this. My gloves are quite good for this actually. They're made for photography, so that's why I can bring out my thumb and my fingers to, to be able to control the screen. I would like to actually do more of these walks uh, to go with someone, maybe like a more like a social discussion around around the streets and, and what's going on and the people you meet and all that. So it would be quite nice. Um, that was a crappy shot. So just this POV walk with like a, a bit of thoughts around photography. Okay, so there we have the Auto Tala. I just wanted to, or the actually there, so there are some renovations going on over here, so I uh, couldn't even even go, go the other road. But Auto Tala is a really, it's a quite an old building, but uh, well, here's quite cool lighting actually. If someone comes walking into that light over there, will this work like a quite a cool cool with the surf? Yeah. yeah, seems like a fat chance who wants to walk over there. But I don't know. Could try it with this dude. I don't know. Did it work? Anyways, anyways, I, I love to shoot in the dark. Uh, I don't think it's 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 a challenge. But at the same time, you have to like find that light spot like there for instance where actually a gym I went to back in the days. Um, it's a it's a cool spot because if someone would come out of that door, then that person would be in the light and I could like frame it quite cool like this with a maybe like this with auto dollar and behind or something yeah this is the kind of shots I like I'm not going to wait for someone to show up there right now. I think there are places where more people move, like walk around. And uh, so hopefully we'll find a good spot. So if you are coming to Finland at any time, wherever you are, contact me. I would love to go for a photo walk with you to show you around. Uh, that would be so cool. Yeah, Finland is here. Yeah, it's a cool place. Uh, pun intended, it's, it's very cold right now. There's some interesting light actually. People coming from there, like that. So I'd be really happy with the Rico. It's such a cool camera. Only bad thing about this camera is that uh, battery time. And I haven't bought another, another battery. Uh, I have only used it when it's cold. Uh, so I don't, I don't actually know how much it takes, but at the same time, um, 
at the same time it feels like like it's uh, same time it feels like it's a poor car by the road at the same time it feels like uh, yeah well it does the job for me the camera does the job for me sorry for I got caught, caught, caught taking that picture of that car. Actually, cool. Since the building's name is Auto Talo, which is like car house, and uh, I think I have some distant memories from my childhood that there were like cool cars on display somewhere here in the house. Back in like this is in the nineties. Uh, but anyway, so, 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 so yeah, anyway, so there was this Porsche coming out. I, I seldom take any pictures of cars, but yeah, it felt like, a, felt like, like a trip back to childhood when, uh, when there were like nice cars around here. I actually, I, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. Someone from Finland. If it, if there's never been like a car in Auto Talo on display, and I'm, I'm, I don't know. But um, I have this idea, this thought, this memory that there has been has been like nice vehicles on display in this house. Anyways, not important. So we're coming around to. It was that's the like the movie theater room, like the biggest one which is called tennis tennis palazzi which is like tennis palace so it used to be something else but now it's a really huge huge uh, cinema i used to take a cool once i took a cool picture over there at the at the that bus stop but now I'm looking for something else. I actually, I wanted to shoot this building here, the Alta Tala. I think I'm too close because I feel like I have, I have nothing to shoot. I love the colors in this, uh, in this cafe. I have taken, or restaurant, I have taken a picture from it. Was it earlier at some point? Uh, but then I, the, the picture, it, it wasn't good. It was, it was just, uh, I don't know. It, I, it was a quick snapshot, so I should, I should definitely try something else, or try it again, maybe. Oh, here's this. Oh, let me see if we can get this working. Some cool. No, not every time you see a sign. There's some people. Maybe something like that. Yeah. It's snowing. Alright. So the light here is quite awesome because of course uh, it's really, it's really cool, and this is this is what I love with, with, with uh, shooting in the darkness because the, you actually like the contrast with the light and the dark, and and the, the thing is not to, for me at least. I, I'm not going into the into the light. I'm just standing outside of outside of, outside of it and uh, and and shoot into the light because that's. That's how I like figure out, get this good pictures. Then I try to look for like leading lines or something. Maybe I should just stand here. I feel like everyone is like walking in the wrong direction. But maybe something like this, and then we have that. And then, so now the silhouette of that line was quite stupid. I have. So maybe that. So maybe if I can open it up, sure, that would be cool. Oh, 
quite cool. Always try new, new perspectives. Someone says it's really nice to shoot uh, these bu building sites because building sites are something in the moment. It's something that uh, that is not. It's something that's changing. So. Anyways, let's move on. Maybe if I take some distance to the house, I will get like a bigger because it looks so cool. I'm gonna show it to you like that. That's so nice. Like that, I can get like that. I get something like this, but the person in the foreground. Wider lens. Maybe the 28 millimeter wouldn't be that stupid in this. Well, it was something. Something is better than nothing. Good shots are not shot. Every time they are shot, maybe one out of a hundred, maybe one out of 95 shots is good. Crystal's often not that good, very often quite shit. So let's see if someone shows up. Oh. I could shoot some one more of this house for this thing. I'm actually quite interested in seeing how the how the camera camera how does the camera take like this low light? I think I have a limit of 1,600 ISO, and um, so I'm interested if uh, the GoPro can take this kind of low light or if it gets really really. Uh, if it gets really, really dark. Yeah, this is quite cool. Kind of works. Do you like the angle? Something like that. Maybe I'm good. How did you like this test work? I don't know. At least it was fun and the camera didn't die. That is so nice because my, okay, my old GoPro was the 3 Plus, which is made for 100 years ago. And so and the camera I got had before that GoPro was actually the GoPro, the first, first GoPro. Um, so, the 10 has been, I think it will be a good companion. It will, it will take me, take, it, it's easy to take with and, and I will probably try some other angle, but today I'm trying the, the, the chest harness. I think it, it's, it's quite okay. It's not showing what I'm looking at, but at the same time, it's more stable and, uh, so, so in that in that sense, it's it's quite nice. It's cool how how you can get like the face lit by someone using the phone when it's dark. So you get like this expression while they are while they are using their phone. So so that's something that's actually very usable. And um, that's something I really, I really enjoy. All right. So it's time to stop this recording. Thanks for joining me. Take care.
Have a good one. Don't give up your daydream.